still at Amicaloa Lodge. Figured I would do a quick gear video. I don't really plan on opening up every pouch like the first aid kit and going through all the little things. Uh, but I'll give a description and I'll probably, uh, for my own record, do a detailed review later. <clears throat> Even if nobody wants to see it because this way I'll have a record and I'll remember what actually left with me on the uh, through hike. So start off with my pack. I have the uh, Z Packs Arc Air in blue. Blue is my favorite color. Of course, the Nylo Fume liner. On the front of the pack, I have the water bottle holder, the umbrella holder, which I decided not to bring an umbrella. So eventually, I'll probably just pull that off if I find no use. A little mini carabiner for whatever. I guess the hang tag. Uh, and a Hilltop Packs cell phone pouch with my uh, towel inside that'll keep on attached to the strap to wipe sweat, etc. Of course, hand sanitizer. Nothing in the pouches right now. Uh, those are my camp shoes. They're the Vivo Barefoot. I forget what they're called. I bought them like 10 years ago, uh, one, 13 years ago when I first planned my original through hike, which is happening now. Um, so they're brand new. I've worn them a few times, uh, testing out my tent and around the house and stuff. They're really comfortable. They fit well. Uh, over here, this is a pack cover. I wasn't going to bring it. It weighs an ounce and a half. It's a Z packs. Uh, but I think I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll throw it out or throw it in a box, bear, um, hiker box. These are some cliff energy shots I bought for a hike that I was going to take. The, the hike ended up getting postponed. And there's just like a burst of caffeine, I guess. Oh, some hydrocodone, also known as Vicodins. Um, I don't like taking them. I don't like the way they make me feel. But if I get severely injured uh, in a lot of pain, they'll help until help arrives. Of course, the deuce of spades. That's my restroom kit and then there's just a roll of toilet paper uh, some more hand sanitizer small bottle and then some uh, wipes uh, this is my water kit and that's a sawyer squeeze uh, a canock two liter and uh, the sawyer coupler and a light load towel um, because uh, i think it makes sense to wipe off, you know, after dipping the water bladder, wipe it off. So none of the potentially, you know, harmful water that could contain Giardia. I don't think we have to worry about chemicals or viruses too much around here. But either way, um, wipe it off so it doesn't drip uh, into the bottle or, you know. Anyway, this is the Z-Pax Duplex in orange. And inside is also a light load towel to, to wipe off... Uh, condensation the towel weighs like half an ounce i think or less and that is the vampire killing kit bag from hilltop packs and that has my stakes i have uh easton i think eight inch stakes that are just fantastic uh best ones i've used and, and, and i've even bent an msr groundhog and those don't bend so far and i also have a couple sonic stakes from z packs this is uh let's call it a middle of the night bottle and where it's like oh no i got i don't want to get out of my tent so there you go that's that worth the two ounces believe me <laughs> I've, I've used it uh redundancy i have a pocket knife because i've carried a pocket knife every day of my life since i was a teenager so it just you know it's commonplace that if i need a knife the first thing i do is reach for that pocket so it's there muscle memory and all that this i got because i've seen videos i think it was homemade wanderlust um, uh, Dixie uh, and I ordered the knife and then spoke with Patrick and uh, actually he engraved my name or uh, lasered my name on it so I'm going to try that I've worn a neck knife before and they were always uncomfortable this one I've tried and it hasn't been it's been comfortable the front utility pack in here I have just you know my little pad and pen and a marker that's my iPod uh, selfie whatever that thing is called stick pick Inside there is my uh, headlamp with a 
a diffusion, which works really good. It, it, it uh, spreads the light in the whole tent. It really makes a difference. And for, like this, again, for the 0.4 of an ounce that it weighs, my Garmin's in there right now. Uh, so it's, uh, I'll probably hook that to the pack. My wallet and other pouch and some hand warmers, stuff like that. Uh, hat, if it's cold enough. It's got those, like, things on it. These might get cut off. They bother me when I used them sleeping when it got down to 30, 13 degrees in my tent. Some gaiters from Ultra to match my sneakers that I'm wearing. These are the Ultra Olympus 4s, I believe. And uh, some gloves for when it gets warmer. Uh, this is an insect shield buff. A lot of my stuff uh, is insect shield or treated with it because uh, it kills ticks. And I've, I've watched a tick basically spasm to death on just like a pair of insect shield socks. So it, it absolutely works. My black diamond heavyweight fleece gloves that are really not that heavy, but surprisingly warm. Uh, my electrics Diddy pouch or whatever. It's a dual pouch. It has a separator. And this has my battery pack, cables, that kind of thing. A couple little repair items. This is my hygiene bag and some sleep gummies in case I have trouble sleeping. Some pills because I've had multiple back injuries. You know, uh, Dr. Bronner's. Some hand lotion because my my hands get dry and, and they really hurt. Head net, ball. First aid kit. This was a, um, I think it's called a Venture Medical Kits, maybe. Uh, 0.3. So it weighed a third of an, or three ounces, I guess. I took some stuff out, added some stuff. I put a regular pair of uh, tweezers in there because the ones that it comes with, those little itty bitty ones, they I tried them, they, they, don't, work, they don't work. Some Tums, etc. This is my... Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2. It's a little bit big. Once I lose some weight, I actually have an original Ghost Whisperer at home that I'll have sent to me probably. That's my Tokes 900 milliliter. Inside that is a Snow Peak uh, cup because I like to drink and eat at the same time. I'm weird like that. And in the morning, I want coffee or hot chocolate or tea, whatever. And my stove is the Soto Windmaster with the four flex pot stand because it... Uh, it's very stable. And I also have a, a canister stand that goes on the bottom of the fuel that makes it even more stable. Again, it, it's, it's, it's nominal weight. Uh, this is my sunglasses and my regular glasses. This is my Hyperlite Mountain Gear. Even though it doesn't really fit well, it's not packed tight, so it fits good in the pack. But I have my uh, Mountain Hardware Balaclava. Those are goose feet gear, 100% overfill. Down booties, because my enlightened equipment down booties, well, they're not down, but the enlightened equipment synthetic booties did not do the job when it got down to 13 degrees. Those are uh, heavyweight um, fleece. I think they're called uh, Mountain Hardware Power Stretch Fleece Pants. I was going to take lighter weight like Smart Wool, but I just can't wear Smart Wool. Um, even as even you know as as le as least amount of itchy as it is, it's still too itchy for me. When I put on clothes, if I can feel them, that's you know you if you get dressed normally, you put on your sweatpants and a t-shirt, you don't think about it. It's just there. But when I was wearing the smart wool, you know I have the little itches here and there, and it, my skin just felt like irritated. So uh, I have a couple smart wool things with me, uh, like a little mini mini beanie. Unless I took it out, it was in there. I don't see it now. And a spare pair of underwear. That's my sleep shirt. That's uh, Patagonia, I believe. That just got changed recently. Yeah, Patagonia thermal weight. Uh, a couple plastic bags for dirty laundry or to put my shoes in uh, or to put stuff in and put in a sleeping bag with me. And a pair of Njinji, don't know, they're like everyday socks. These I also had treated with uh, permethrin with insect shield. Those all go in there. Uh, let's see. This is my food bag. That's me, crusty old guy. Not necessarily my trail name, just the name I chose for the YouTube channel. And inside is a rehydration pouch, food, a snack bag to keep it separate. And this is just a little fire kit I have with my little lighter and a couple little things. That I'm not going to say it weighs nothing because that's ridiculous. Everything weighs something. Uh, but it's a couple ounces. Uh, let's see... We did this, and that's just a little air pump. 
uh, my mattress came with a pump bag. The pump bag actually weighs an ounce more than that pump. So why, you know, why make things harder on yourself? This blows it up quickly from what I understand. I used it once, I think. I don't remember. I think the last time I sucked out. That's my Z-Pax classic sleeping bag. Weighs like 20 ounces in the medium sack. I had it in a different stuff sack, but it was too big and taking up too much room in the pack. That's my X-Ped down pillow. The Gossamer Gear Thin Light Pad that I got way back when getting them wasn't a problem. This is one of those, I think, airplane pillows that you stick the straw in it and it blows up. It weighs not even an ounce. Uh, I've had several back injuries, so this may may save my uh, save me uh, from excruciating pain every morning uh, because I've slept out in the tent with the system I had before. I had the NeoAir Uberlite, um, and I just woke up in so much pain I couldn't imagine having to hike. And then, of course, my air mattress, uh, which replaced the Uber Light. Uh, it weighs 24 ounces, but it is really comfortable. Uh, three and a half inches in the middle with the outer edges being almost four and a quarter, four and a half. So it holds you on the mattress and it's just really comfortable. It's not noisy like the Neo Airs. I have a Neo Air X Light, I have a Neo Air Uber Light, and I have a Nemo Quasar. Um, and this is what I'm going with. This. This pillow weighs 6.4 ounces, I believe. So I went from uh, my other pillow was uh, the Nemo Philo luxury pillow. So that was 4 ounces, 11 ounces with the uh, Uber Light. So I went from basically a pound to 24 ounces, 30, almost 30, almost 2 pounds. But, you know, what's the value of sleep? And uh, that's my charger up uh, there and I have my clothes hanging up now well, you're not gonna be able to see them this is a uh, enlightened equipment I think it's called visp rain jacket and inside there is uh, outdoor research helium 2 rain pants and a pair of the uh, z packs uh, vertus rain mitts and my Patagonia tropic weight hoodie that I use for sun protection because I don't like putting sunscreen and stuff on my skin. And then my alpaca hoodie from Appalachian Gear. My hat from Mont Bell. It's actually a Gore-Tex rain hat, but serves the purpose of a hat. Plus, when I wear it in the rain to keep the, the bill of this off my face, it'll, uh, it won't soak through, presumably. I haven't tried it in the rain yet. And what I'm wearing... It is a Patagonia Cool Merino shirt. And then my pants are, I just got them. Can't really see them well, but they're uh, Outdoor Research Zendo pants. They don't have the, the uh, cuff on the bottom that cinches like sweatpants, so I like that. The socks are farm to feet. And of course the sneakers and the underwear are ex officio boxer briefs and there's my hiking poles there. And those are the Lecky Cork Light, I believe they're called. And I think that's it. Uh, all right. Bye.